breaking, after being acquitted of murder, Kate Steinle's killer gets devastating news. On Thursday evening, a California court acquitted the killer of San Francisco resident Kate Steinle, sending the nation into a collective fit of rage, but he's not out of the woods just yet. Steinle was walking with her father along a pier in 2015 when Mexican national and illegal alien Jose Inés Garcia's R8 shot and killed her with a stolen handgun. After a trial, a jury found Zarate not guilty of both manslaughter and murder, bringing back only one guilty verdict of possessing a stolen weapon. Jury finds Jose Inés Garcia's R8 not guilty in first or second degree murder and the fatal shooting of Kate Steinle, not guilty in involve. Manslaughter. Guilty of possession of a firearm. Jury unanimously finds Mexican man at center of national immigration a debate not guilty of murder in San Francisco peer shooting. Jury finds him not guilty of crime with assault with semi-automatic firearm. Of course, the verdicts didn't sit well with the people of this country, who are outraged an illegal alien can kill an American citizen and get off basically scot-free. Even President Trump took to Twitter to blast the results of the case. A disgraceful verdict in the Kate Steinle case. No wonder the people of our country are so angry with illegal immigration. The Kate Steinle killer came back and back over the weekly protected Obama border, always committing crimes and being violent, and yet this info was not used in court. His exoneration is a complete travesty of justice. Build the wall. The jury was not told the killer of Kate was a seven-time felon. The Schumer, Pelosi Democrats are so weak on crime that they will pay a big price in the 2018 and 2020 elections. Another person who was extremely unhappy about it all was Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who released a scathing statement following the news. His full statement is below. When jurisdictions choose to return criminal aliens to the streets rather than turning them over to federal immigration authorities, they put the public safety at risk. San Francisco's decision to protect criminal aliens led to the preventable and heartbreaking death of Kate Steinle. While the state of California sought a murder charge for the man who caused Miss Steinle's death, a man who would not have been on the streets of San Francisco if the city simply honored an ICE detainer. The people ultimately convicted him of felon in possession of a firearm. The Department of Justice will continue to ensure that all jurisdictions place the safety and security of their communities above the convenience of criminal aliens. I urge the leaders of the nation's communities to reflect on the outcome of this case and consider carefully the harm they are doing to their citizens by refusing to cooperate with federal law enforcement officers. Those upset that Zarate wasn't served justice still have a ray of hope to hang on to as it appears Sessions is going to be looking into whether or not he can bring federal charges against the foreign invader who's been deported five times and convicted of seven felonies. While the news of the Justice Department pursuing charges is good, the fact of the matter is the justice system in California failed miserably at getting justice for the Steinle family. The fact this man was in the country illegally had a stolen gun in his possession, and used that stolen gun to kill an American citizen should have made for a slam-dunk case for at least manslaughter, if not second-degree murder, which requires an aggravating charge like felony possession of a weapon.